I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our number is dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
at this station. Don't worry, I told you. I, I got it, I got it, open up! Go! Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, what with the Spartans are damn good, they brought Artyom here just in time. Are you sure of it? I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Stand being cooped up down here. I left the order, and now nobody can even decide for me. As for Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're alright! You gave us a two, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you me, gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, how are the nurses you know, no, 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 no. You just stop crowding him. Brother. Ah, previat, Dartyard. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are 
So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bed? Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe we should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Stalkers. 
The radiation and beats are nothing special. Why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. This would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Artyom, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you're right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
and watchmen broke through. These workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained for the opening. She comes through. They just want to get as far away from this place as possible. It's just a lost cause. Attention! The turntable is switching off. <laughs> Shit again. Okay. Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you? Oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! <laughs> you came for her! <laughs> Alright! I'll help! Finally! I'll be of some use! <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Sanya, go tell the workers. Move crouched. Back. It's quieter that way. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. See that ladder? You can use your head after all. Stay close <laughs> to the wall. Technician team. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Get me on ready. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Moscow, looking for us! 
Before they uncover. Get ready, people. Guard! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. All on our way. Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich here, man. The train engineer. Run now! Just get to the hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! Hey! Arjun, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Arjun. Don't move too fast and don't come out into the light. You'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either. They could notice. Artyom, incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Take them 
So, still, this is suspicious. You do your thing and I'll just stay here, just in case. So nice not to expect a bullet or a knife in the back by now. I hope we stay here for a long time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you here. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. We'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism on. Yeah, and please, be careful. We can easily have to hold base. More guards!
shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Don't this you dare get me to here. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Uh. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Oh, what are you doing here? Talk about Sir Carl. Well, this will mean court-martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! Thing. How did you end up here? Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. With no moves left. Hansa can't take this line. No down. shit, the won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people it? from what other cities dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. What's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine. At least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. It's it's us. Us. It's it's us. Us. Oh. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and put him ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mayor. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! To you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Ready 
even pass. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you carry, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life? Just Blood. Treason. We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You sold out. They destroyed us and you... I have been a soldier my whole life. I have dedicated my life to my people, my country. And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I, I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs>